Japanalysis video. Insanely evil Japanese company implodes overnight. Okay, insanely evil Japanese company implodes overnight. Should be good. I don't know what they're talking about. Go back. I need to put this on the other screen. My neck is cracking. Ah, 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 this is the story of how a billion dollar Japanese business imploded overnight. If you've ever been to Japan, you've probably seen this sign. They're the largest used car dealership and repair chain in the country. Ooh. They're everywhere. Big Motor, or as they say it in Japan, started as a single store in Yamaguchi, but now boasts over 300 locations. Despite its near billion dollar valuation, Big Motor is still a family business ran by this guy who founded the company in 1976. But as Bank he started to age, he had a very difficult decision to make. Who would succeed him at his company? After years of deliberation, he followed in the footsteps of many other powerful leaders and chose the most qualified candidate. <laughs> nah, just kidding. He hired his son. Big Who would hire this guy? At the start, nice this actually chocolate. seemed like the best business decision ever. Big Motor had been around for 35 years, but they'd never seen growth like this. Koichi's hiring brought Big Motor into a new golden age. Within three years, the company Ooh. doubled in size. Ooh. This made Daddy happy. So as a treat, he promoted Koichi to vice president. And over the following years, the insane growth only continued. Whatever Koichi was doing, it was working. But some negative Nancys did start asking questions like, how can a business sustain such insane growth? And what is Koichi doing that's so effective? Well, love capitalism. it's a little business trick called widespread <laughs> fraud. In 2023, a video leaked showing a big motor garage manager teaching an employee how to pop customers' tires. What? They would only pop one, but say the tires must all be worn and sell a full new set of four, netting 12,000 yen. Now, you must be asking, why would anyone be dumb enough to film something so blatantly illegal? <laughs> well, it was actually self-study material. At the same time Big Motor was creating problems just to solve it? them, they were actually only pretending to solve customers' real problems. A leaked screenshot from an internal group chat showed an employee saying things like, just tell them you changed their oil, it'll be fine. These leaks got people talking, which oh. encouraged other ex-employees to share their stories. By the way, if you don't change your oil often enough, your car will break down eventually, Brace. so It quickly really became bad. clear that Big Motor wasn't run by Lex Luthor, it was run by Mr. Krabs. Hello, Big Moto! But that was just the tip of the iceberg. Things were about to get no way. a lot worse hey, I'm just for Big saying, Motor. People don't know. Look at this lot before Big Motor moved in. Now look at it after. Notice the difference? Oh, Big Moto. What about this one? Japanese internet detectives started noticing that trees all over the country started to mysteriously wither and die when they were blocking the view of Big Motor's beautiful... What? They're killing trees? What? ...used cars. The Tokyo government investigated and, to no one's surprise, found plant killer in 9 of 14 Big Motor soil samples from the oh. city. Big Motor killed so many trees that they were caught red-handed multiple times by the Google Maps car. I can't oh believe my it. God. Apparently, Daddy's little boy was so obsessed with making his used cars visible from the street that he would go around to each Big Motor location and demote managers who had plants growing outside. That's terrible! What the fuck? He put plant killer... Because you can't do that. It's so, like, you can't do that. Because he doesn't own the sidewalk. You're not supposed to do that. You have to get, like, permission, and even then they probably, like, tell you no. That's fucked up, man. ...that he would go around to each big motor location and demote <laughs> managers who had plants growing outside. <laughs> the tree killing was so absurd that it even inspired cosplayers. Cosplayers. 
But it doesn't just end there. If you think killing trees is crazy, let me tell you, this guy was a real piece of work. The worst thing that could happen to you while working at Big Motor Big is Moto. to hear that Koichi was coming. This happened multiple times per year, and it he's coming. He's like, I'm at the car. Meant that everyone needed to stay at work until 3 a.m. the night before getting the store ready. When his car pulled up, everyone needed to greet him in a loud voice. Lewis, Lewis. One employee told a story that uh. when his manager went out for the greeting, Koichi was relieving himself in the parking lot facing nearby residences and got mad at the manager for interrupting him. His standards were insane. One manager was demoted for a cigarette butt found in the gutter outside. You could be fired for having an unclean desk. He would obsessively what? check your sales numbers and your Google reviews. So outside when inspection day came, store. employees would be working overtime solving CAPTCHAs all night. Because you what? really didn't want to get on Koichi's naughty list. And no, that's not just an expression. He had a group chat with all 300 store managers where he would rank each store's sales and shame poor performers. Oh my god! Oh, what? Some logs have been leaked from these group chats. They're pretty crazy. The worst, but also most memed one, is this one where he just keeps saying, Kyoiku, Kyoiku, Kyoiku. Shike, shike, shike. So this is a huge meme in Japan. Look at that, three hundred thousand views. You can't. See, you might not be able to see it, but holy shit, three hundred ninety thousand views. This is a huge meme there. Friend of Gashi. Million views. It's a meme for them. They think it's funny. One hundred forty thousand yen per vehicle repair job. Yes, any customer at Big Motor was expected to spend at least a thousand U.S. dollars fixing their vehicle. This created a toxic work environment that pitted managers against employees. In this leaked photo, a big motor manager tied a phone to his employee's head with elastic bands to punish him for not making enough sales calls, then posted the picture in the group chat to make fun of him. Here, a big- <laughs> Man, dude, work in Japan is wild, man. That is insane. Motor employee's ID badge was heavily vandalized by his manager, who wrote insults all over it. Okay, surely that's all of it, right? Big Motor fakes repairs, kills trees, and abuses their employees. Surely what else that's could they not even it. do at yeah. this point? Well, if you gotta give him something, Big Motor managers are very creative. One of their signature tricks was to use customers' personal information to impersonate them, call around to rival shops, and... They were engaging in identity fraud? That's- that's so illegal, it's not even funny, man! That's jail right there, dude! What's a little bit of fraud on the weekend between friends? Yeah, this guy's going to jail, the people should be- I- what- I just don't understand! And cancel all appointments under that name. Another clever trick was to sell cars to their own employees. Joining Big Motor was like pledging to a fraternity, and the hazing ritual was buying a car. You want a stressful sales job with an abusive boss where you could get fired at any moment? Sure, the only requirement is a 10-year loan with 9% interest on a used car. An ex-employee was on the, the news saying his boss fuck? gave him 30 minutes to buy a car or he was fired. 30 minutes to buy a car? You're fired! Dude, Japanese war culture is actually insane. That's so fucked up, man. All of these money-making and cost-cutting tricks helped Koichi inflate Big Motor's sales over the years. But all of it pales in comparison to the main scam, the one that truly helped them become a billion-dollar player. When this manager was popping tires, he wasn't actually selling them to the customers. He was billing them to the insurance companies. How did you film it too? I don't understand this. I don't understand why you would even like think of doing that and then filming it so that the evidence is there in case someone finds it. When the customer had insurance, Big Motor always milked the job for as much as they could. They knew the most expensive things to damage to jack up the bill. 
They would use sharp objects to extend scratches, draw in damage with chalk, use candles and sandpaper to damage the car, and put a golf ball in a sock and use that to whack the car, increasing the size of dents. This made people see these old big motor ads in a whole new light. Big motor. What the actual fuck, man? <laughs> Someone even started selling big motor new employees. <laughs> <laughs> Plant killer tools to damage your car. <laughs> That's fucking funny. That's your starter kit when you shine up to in, to, to to your servitude to this company. Holy Play starter kits online. Almost puts Blizzard to shame, honestly. Seriously though, a question you might have is, don't insurance companies pay inspectors Why do they have Umbrella to stop logo? this kind of crime? Yeah, they look How fucking evil How are they deceived so fuck. easily by golf balls, sandpaper, and screwdrivers? Well, that's the most important question of this video. Let's talk about car insurance in Japan. There are uh... three major players, Tokyo Marine, Mitsui Sumitomo, and Sonpo Japan. Sonpo and in 2021, Japan. a whistleblower approached them and told them exactly what Big Motor was doing. Concerned, the insurance companies asked Big Motor what was going on. Big Motor took this very seriously. They asked the most competent detective they knew to look into it. Yeah, they investigated themselves. Big Motor quickly came back with their conclusions. Nah, it's just a few overworked employees making mistakes. It's not coordinated. Sompo Japan reviewed the report and agreed with the conclusions? What the actual fuck? They're inside investigator. Oh my god. This is so... That's insane! They did their own investigation and they were like, yeah, it seems fine. What? How? Well, let's just say that Sompo and Big Motor had a few- Sounds like Blizzard. Well, the funny part is I'm pretty sure that when they did the California, um, what is it called? The California versus Blizzard thing. Blizzard did not have their own investigator. They had an outside investigator, so at least Blizzard wasn't that bad. Ooh, mutual interests. By mutual interests, I mean Sompo was the biggest shareholder outside of CEO. <laughs> Daddy! <Kiriki>. And second, <laughs> before Daddy brought Koichi into Big Motor, he had him work at Sompo for a year. And when Koichi moved to Big Motor, he brought 37 Sompo employees with him. So clearly they were more than just oh. friends, but their relationship goes deeper than that. Ex-employees claim that Sompo and Big Motor had a secret agreement. Sompo would overlook Big Motor's suspicious insurance claims, and in return, Big Motor would prioritize selling Sompo over the other two insurance companies. <gasps> Customers generally don't care who provides their insurance as long as they have it. The 37 employees actually helped with this. A representative from what? Sompo taught our staff how to photograph damage to make it look worse, including tips like capturing scratches from certain angles to make them appear deeper. Over 40% of Big Motor's insurance repairs were fraudulent. This netted Big Motor 10 billion yen over five years. So in the end, everyone won except for the customer whose premiums were going up due to the larger than necessary insurance claims. Anyways, when Sompo agreed with Big Motor's it's just all for money, man. It's no so fault cringe. conclusion. It set off some red flags for the other two insurance companies who started their own investigations. Obviously, they found tons of fraud. They tried to report it to the public in 2022, but Big Motor retaliated. A leaked email showed that they immediately gave an order to stop selling insurance for the other two companies. Oh my god, they just booted them out. Have they killed or missed someone in their life, though? Rakshi, that's literally not my point. I said that at least when they found this investigation, it was done by an outside source investigating the inside, not the other way around. Or rather, not them employing their own quote-unquote investigating them, being like, hey, there's nothing wrong, haha, -ha, and then people believe them. <laughs> Big Motor seems to be put many companies in America to shame. That... It's impressive. Like, it's actually impressive. This all came out in like July, and it's still dominating the news cycle today. 
Japanese people were furious because they finally understood why their insurance rates have been going up so much recently. Yeah. On July 25th, Hiroyuki held a press conference where he apologized and said he didn't know the extent of what was going on. He announced both him and his son were stepping down, but Koichi hasn't appeared in public or apologized even once since this scandal broke. You can probably tell that because I only have two videos and one picture of him. But yeah, his dad has completely taken the fall. By the way, the most impactful so his moment son of this is completely was free? when Hiroyuki was talking about how employees were caught using golf balls in socks to damage cars. <laughs> For some reason, he thought it was a good idea to say, that is sacrilegious to golf What's lovers up? everywhere. Sacrilegious like, to golf lovers everywhere? Are you trying to make everywhere? a joke during your <laughs> apology for insurance fraud? Anyways, since the scandal broke, it's been bad news after bad news for Big Motor. Their profits are way down because nobody in their right mind would trust them with their car. Four Big Motor locations have already closed. The new CEO is scrambling to put out fires, including a Big Motor employee making headline news for assaulting a rival company employee. What? Why did he do... Why would you do that? Like, is that the brand loyalty is sh is so like strong with them that they get violent with other employees? <sighs> That's what the FSA, Japan's equivalent of the SEC, big motor and mafia. massive investigations into both Big Motor and Sompo. Police forces all over Japan have already raided 21 big motor locations, including their head office, for tree killing, confiscating tons of cardboard boxes worth of stuff, including shovels, weed eaters, and leaf blowers. Shovels, One of the weed largest eaters, and leaf blowers. This whole affair was, how would it affect the Japanese? Why is this company so powerful? Because they played the public. That's how it happened. The yeah. Economy overall. Big Motor was the largest in the year. They also increased the insurance, uh, what is it called? The insurance, uh, like, whatever you pay for the insurance, it increased because of all the problems that they were causing. Insurance premiums, yes, yes, yes. Car market, but what about their competitors? How could they compete if they weren't fraudulent too? And just Crazy, how complicit man. were the insurance companies? Well, on September Their logo 6, looks familiar. It yeah, it looks like stage, umbrella. <laughs> number two in the used car it's market. Was it's recolored, man. It literally looks just like it. Look. <laughs> so, there were so many people pointing it out, and I was like, yeah, I can see it. It's literally just colored a little bit just differently. Just as fraudulent as Big Motor. Their CEO resigned on the 11th. That's not all. Another competitor called Good Speed was exposed as well. As for the insurance companies, the CEO of Sompo held a press conference on the 8th and admitted that he continued working with Big Motor despite knowing about their fraud. He resigned that day. This story is still developing, so if you guys want, I can post updates in my it's Discord. It's still thanks developing, for watching, and thanks huh? to my patrons. See you next time. Wow! Please don't make a zombie virus, Big Motor. <laughs> Dude, that's crazy. Yeah. Again, exactly why I work on my own car. It takes a lot of skill and effort to uh, work on your own car. It's like a person who's really skilled at working on their computer, but then they just don't have the time and energy and or energy to do uh, the same for their car. Maybe they're not into cars. Like, you never know what kind of person they are. They probably would make killer cars instead. Oh, Dude, what if they make like Gundams, like Big Moto Gundam, and then it like the destroys all of Southeast Asia? <laughs> that would be like an evil, evil movie to base it on, dude. Yeah. Some car stuff requires a lot of equipment. Yeah, so does like, you know, being invested into certain hobbies and stuff. Big Motor Gundams to Yoink China. Oh, I know. Insanely evil. That is evil, though. It, it, increasing insurance premiums just to fuck everyone else over. That's that is quite quite some quite something. If they invent Gundams, I could find it in my heart to forgive them. Don't say that, big Garf. You can't say that. <laughs> I can't wait! No! Guys, don't forgive them for bringing gondos into this world. Come on. <sighs> Mommy! Piss, piss, piss. Shit! Piss, 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 piss. Fuck, 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 fuck,